comment, one more question. Like, uh, as we practice, as you said, uh, we visit the relations, we will be uh, with some satsang, we will keep lovely things as a beginner and uh, progressing. Sometimes uh, we will see some bad examples also. We will get some bad experience also, maybe with some Vaishnava with whom had a lot of expectations. I see him not falling second anything. thing. Or our India degradation where someone behaved a little differently, which is against my expectations of a Vaishnava. So how to, when, when, the, when, the, when our faith is shaken and Sampradaya a little bit, so how to regain it and, and continue our practices? Because in every Sampradaya there must be some issues because of their in Kali Yoga and things were all in so what should be as a practitioner consciousness when he encounters such situations? See here also satsang plays a very important role because when we have some bad experiences we should have some mentor who can clarify that situation and pacify us and not to get too disturbed because if we try to think about certain things too much ourselves then we will complicate it and we will exaggerate the problem also sometimes maybe non-existing problem will be imagined by us so even if there is a small problem and there will be problem because we are in samsara. We have to understand that we are in samsara. This place is prob full, of, full of problems. Actually, we should be thinking that we are lucky to have some joy and to have some enjoyment and, and to have some anubhavam, bhagavad anubhavam. Because that itself is very, very rare in some samsara. We are only seeing a small portion of the world. This Bharata Desham, Dividashams, we are in a particular Dividasham, which is very, very tiny portion where there is good uh, experience with Bhagavan. But there are so many places where there is total uh, void of any experience of Bhagavan, any uh, satsangam or anything. So, normal expectation in samsara is troubles and problems and uh, difficulties only. So, there is nothing to be surprised if you get bad experience. Because actually, everything we are experiencing is bad only. We think that this is good, we, are, we think that this is bad. But really, in, in reality, everything related to body, everything related to bodily enjoyment, whatever comfort we get, everything is actually counterproductive for our spiritual progress. The more comfortable, more happy we get here, the more we will become attached to samsara. So, whenever bad things happen, we have to just see that as the nature of samsara. This is the nature. Let's say there is a dog, it bites. What can we say? It's the nature of dog to bite or it barks. It's the nature of dog to bark. So that is the nature of samsara. Samsara means it will be giving us bad experiences. So occasionally in spiritual environment also, in temples, in satsang room also, we may get some bad experience because this the samsara means it is the collection of people who are in it. The people have good and bad in them. When the Sattvagunam is rising, they will behave nicely. When the Rajyotamagunam are rising, they will behave badly. So it applies for every living being, whether it is a human being or devata, animal or bird or anything. Depending on the gunam only, they are going to react. So when we look at all of these, we have to convince ourselves that, yes, this is a good reason to exit this samsara and go to Bhagavan. And in the time when we are here, we should try to be in satsangam where such things will not arise, where we can have real uh, engagement in kankaryam, in service and in good anubhavams, in sharing bhagavad-dushyam. So our faith should in fact become stronger when we face bad experiences rather than getting weaker. Because an intelligent person will see the root cause of the problem. The root cause of the problem is not an individual, but the root cause of the problem is our karma, which is making us face bad experiences. It is just a form. The karma has taken this form, this shape. Sometimes we may get scolded in a bus. Our karma has come in the form of the bus conductor or driver. Sometimes we may get scolded in a temple. Some priest will scold us. Maybe we did something wrong. We came in front of the uh, lady or something. Somebody may scold us. 
it is our karma which is coming in that form and scolding us because we will not get anything we don't deserve <coughs> whatever bad experience or good experience it is based on our karma only good or bad karma it is giving us joy or sorrow so when we get sorrow we have to be in a way happy that our bad karma is reducing and we have to see the positive aspect of how to improve and avoid such bad experiences in the future because we know that we have got bad experience because of our bad karma past past bad karma in future at least we should avoid such bad experience by avoiding bad karma so this is the way an intelligent person will have to think and uh, apply the wisdom apply the knowledge which is acquired in a positive way See, in our coil.org website, we have a lot of content. We have content for beginners, we have content for the most advanced uh, persons like scholars, we have content for academically interested persons, where we have systematically translated many of the Divya Prabandhams into English with proper word by word meanings, detailed translations and all of that. So depending on the individual's interest, one can go to Guru Paramparai website, one can go to Divya Pravada website, one can go to Bhagavad Gita website. We have multiple sub portals. Each website can be visited and we can learn from those websites the basics. Just reading the books and website is not the ultimate way, but they will give us a lot of information which we are seeking. Whatever information we read about the Vipravadams, the, uh, the Bhagavad Gita, or Vishnu Sahasranam, or Puvachari Granthams, or Guru Parampara, all of these information are abundantly available in our website. And also in our YouTube channel, we have <coughs> thousands of lectures, both in Tamil and English. There are many lectures in English also, which will be useful for many newcomers who are uh, also non-Tamil speaking people. So these resources can be used. We have to just know where to go and find the information. Because our website portal is very vast. People can easily get lost in it. If one can go into the Vyakarabhadam and just keep going inside and they will not know what else is there. But when one goes and understands the structure of how things are done, how our website is designed, then easily we can navigate. Because we follow a standard convention. We have like in the Vya Pravadams, we have one page for each sentam and then in each sentam we will have one page for each ten pasurams and then each ten pasurams we will have link for each pasuram. This way we will have everything organized in the proper manner only. So, little bit of patience uh, in going through and understanding the website system design, then we can easily navigate and find any information. If you want any Pramanas, any shlokams from Sri Ramayana or Mahabharata. If we search in our website, mostly we will find them because they are all used in the commentary. In the commentary, they would have quoted Sri Ramayana shlokams, Mahabharata shlokams, Vishnu Prana shlokams. So, even to find those shlokams, we can type in the search box and uh, find those shlokams. Similarly, Divya Pramanas, any Advas, Acharyas, their life history, and then Bhagavad Gita's uh, commentary. So all of these are available in our website, website portal and a little bit of patience and um, uh, understanding the structure will easily make us become an expert in finding information. See our main uh, thing should be, one cannot be knowledgeable 100% in every topic but one should at least know where to go and find that particular information. So, if we want to get a Gita Shlokam, we should know that we should go to gita.coil.org, search for that Shlokam, we will find that. If you want Divya Pravadam Pasuram, go to divyapravadam.coil.org, search for that Pasuram, get that Pasuram. <coughs> Similarly, depending on what information is required, we should go to the right source. 
and get the information. So that can be done. Yes, Swami. Uh, even uh, I have been exploring our toilet arc uh, in the last few months. It's really helpful for me. Even mm -hmm. when I want to know about Acharya Dhanakshatra is coming, I want to read about it. And it's very helpful. Even the Dibya Prabhupada has some translation to some ashrams. It's very helpful. Especially the site map we have mm -hmm. and also the uh, um, where to begin yeah. Yeah, for the beginners. We right. have all the links given for the Acharya yes. and others. Yes. So I'm really grateful for whoever behind this uh, entire Team. So this is very very helpful for us. Acharya Parafara is behind this. This there mercy only is manifesting in this uh, form of coil at all. It's not our humanly effort. We put in our time basically. But it's all their wealth we have given in this form. Thank you very much for the discussion. Thank you. Thank you. To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org. K O Y I L dot O R G.